Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Destiny from Desfix and welcome back to another video in the blog app using Django and React. In this one, we'll get started setting up the Django admin. That is what we'll be doing. Hopefully you enjoy the video and learn something new. So let's get started. Begin by opening up your code editor. And right now, I want to change this to auto save so that we automatically save our code. Okay. Now to set up Django admin, it's actually quite simple. I want to use a package called Jasmine to make my Django admin look a little bit more nicer than it is now. So I'll add Jasmine package to the installed app. And that is pretty much everything that you want to do. Now, if you run pymanagepy run server and you hop over to, let me open up my browser. Let me come over here. You see, this is working. Now, when you come over to slash admin, you see it's opening up the admin page like this. But when you try to log in, now we get this error. So this error pretty much is trying to say that we need to migrate um, our tables. So I'll say pymanage py migrate and give this up time. As you can see, it's migrating and it's done. Then you need to create super user. I'm sure you should already know or how all this one works. So you need a super user to be able to log into the admin section. And this is how we create it. So pymanagepy create super user. And I want to call the, the username to be destiny. You can leave the email as destiny at gmail.com and password testing321, also testing321. Okay. And now if you run your server again, Python manage py run server. There you go. So now I will comment out Jasmine just for, for the time being and reload this page. So when you reload this page, you can now see that this is how it's looking, right? If you come over here and you try logging in with the username destiny and login, yep, it's gonna work, but this is how our Django admin looks. It doesn't really look good. But as soon as you add Jasmine over here and your server reloads and you refresh this page, you can now see it's changed to something that looks more like this, which looks really good in my opinion. So that is pretty much it. The next thing that we just need to do is install some, or, you know, add some configurations. For example, I have those configuration files here for the Jasmine settings and also UI tweaks. So you could copy this, just open up the source code and copy this, okay? It's as simple as that. I've provided it already for you guys and paste it down here, all right? Allow your code to reload. And when you get back here and reload this page, you can now see some more features has now been added like I have changed the header over here and also changed the list and, you know, made things look a little bit better. Now you could tweak this around to what you want. Just open this up, the customization bar and choose whatever format you want over here. Let's say I'm going with something dark like this and let's say I want to go with flatly or even material or even let's say solar, you see? And when you're done choosing all this and making it look the way you want, just scroll all the way to the bottom and click show code. Now this UI tweak code is what you want to copy and replace with the current UI tweaks that you have over here so that your so that your changes will stay permanent. I hope you understand. That is pretty much it. Looks pretty simple, looks pretty good. That is everything I wanted to show you in the admin. You can see over here, it's quite simple. We've migrated our database, created a new super user, logged into admin section and, you know, configured Jasmine. So, yep, that is pretty much it. If there is anything that you don't understand, drop it in the comment section and I'll be there to help you. Check out some of the courses in the description below. One of them will help you become even a better Python React Django developer. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, mad love. Peace out.